Hello and welcome to the course of How to Power BI. In this session, we will be continuing our remaining uh, remaining topics of the previous video, which is bar chart, column chart, ribbon chart, and the small multiples value. We already understood what is the grouping, which we did in the cluster chart, and we under understood uh, other things about uh, the hiding the table, conditional formatting, and scatter. So now let's get started. So in the previous session, we saw a first stacked bar chart, which stacks one information one over the other. In this, we understood that if uh, if we want to stack a numerous field one above the other, so we can use this stacked bar chart. Now, in the last video, we tried to put something in the legends. Let's try this again. Let's say if I want to country in the legends, let's say if it takes value. So we can see that uh, there is nothing going in the legends. So why this is happening is that if I let's say if I remove this discount from here and now when I try to take a legend in the country, it is taken. So the reason is that we have two fields in the X axis. So legend is not able to differentiate to give uh, how how to give a color to both the fields. That is why it is not uh, getting formatted. So now we, as we have understood this, let's take again, let's make it how it was discount. Okay. Now let's understand the stacked column chart. I will just copy paste this chart and place it here. And now I'll just convert this chart uh, stacked bar chart to stacked column chart so you can click on the second visual so you can see the only difference is that this chart is horizontal and this chart is vertical so this is the only difference uh, in the stacked bar chart it is the stacked column chart so you can use as per your convenience and as per your requirement okay now uh, let's understand a little bit about the other bar chart which is cluster bar cluster column and 100% stack bar chart for this i will take a new sheet and i will name it as a remaining bar charts okay okay let's uh, take uh, this bar chart first here i will just take it here and let's try to take a mm, what we can take we can take a cells i will just drag it here then we can take a, maybe a product on the y axis and then in the in the unit sold maybe the second okay not it is not showing correct data so what i will do i will take discount maybe let's just see what happens okay discount is not in the legend it should be in the x-axis okay instead of this i will take a profit again so it will be like the same previous chart now as you can see that uh, the labels are not there so instead of going to this again and again to turn on the legends but as a beginner you should practice that that you have to turn the labels on what you can do also is that you can just format the one visual as per the other video so i'll try to do this in this i will now take a, maybe a clustered bar chart let's just see so what this bar what is the difference between this bar chart let's understand again i will take a profit and then I will take a discount and I will take a country. So now you can see that this bar chart is basically for comparing. So uh, let's understand one thing is that whenever you use a bar chart, it is mostly for the purpose of comparing your two fields or comparing your two years or comparing your two dimensions. So now in this, in this uh, bar chart, we are comparing the profit and the discount. So instead of discounts, let's take a sale and let's see how it shows. Okay. We'll take a profit down. Yeah. So now 
what I was telling you is that instead of turning on label to go again here and uh, turn on the label again and again, what I can do, I can just select this visual. In here, you see the format painter is there. If you click here, and you can just format paint it as per this visual. So you will get the labels and all those things. Now, let's make it here like okay. Okay, like that. Now let's understand a third chart, which is okay. Now clustered column. Now you can see the clustered bar chart and clustered column chart. So this is like the same. The stack bar chart and stack column chart. Instead of this, this will show the information in the column format. So I think that is self understood. Let's take a hundred percent stack chart, and again take a sales maybe here, and then I will take a country and i will take a, what i can take a, okay maybe if i take a product let's see what happens okay no it's not looking good let's take a discount again let it be so i will again format paint it let's see how colors how labels are coming okay now if i go here data labels okay now yeah see what i wanted you to show is that as you reduce the size of your chart some labels will throw error like this so this is what that this is suggesting is that we should increase the size of your chart increase the size of your visual uh, otherwise it will not show the proper information so this is how you can uh, do that now if you hover over here you can see the sum of sales and the percentage and it will show the discount and its percentage so this is for the hundred percent if you want to see how your data is divided and uh, total data total hundred percent data is divided you can see that now let's remove the discounts and let's try to add some segment here okay now i think it shows the proper let's just make it a bigger so that you can see clearly okay so this is how you can understand your bifurcation of the total value that where the percentage maximum percentage has gone and where you can see that minimum percentage is there so this is how you can use this chart so this is called as a hundred percent stacked bar chart okay i will just resize it okay so we have understood this charts same like these two are similar these two are similar these two are also similar this is in the bar format you can see it in the column format so this is like that okay now this was about the bar charts now let's understand about the next line which is the line chart and in this in this chart we will also understand about the physical field of the year and the date hierarchical field of the year so we'll just name it line chart so what you can do is that take a line chart i will just keep it like this maybe it's little bit down and just here i will control c and control v it i will make another one and keep it here okay now what i will do i will take a sales sum of sales in the y axis and i want to see it by the uh, month so what i can do you can go there is a month name field month name column in your data so i will just drop it here. so now you can see that month name month have been appeared and the trend is showing that how the data is performing over the month now i will again take the same data here let's take a sales but for this time i will taking i will be taking a month name from the date hierarchy so you can just open the date then there will, be, there will be date hierarchy here you can see there is a date hierarchy and from this date hierarchy you can take a month so i will just drop the month so now if you scroll down or maybe scroll up you can see that it is showing it is from the date so date uh, it is the month from the dates it is extracted from the date part and this is your physical field which is your column of a month so now you can easily spot the difference that in my first graph where i have taken the physical field 
then month names are not arranged properly like for uh, our understanding or in the regular use the month starts from the january and it ends in the december correct but in here you can see the october is coming then december and then november september june july february like it is a random so it is not a random it is basic taking it is basically taking alphabetical order which is not the correct way to see the data and if i take the second visual i can see my month names are in the proper format and proper order january to december so whenever you are showing a trend or you are showing you have to show the data by time uh, be sure to use the date field and or the parameters from the date field avoid using the month from this so if you click on this three dot you can get the option of sort axis now it has sorted by the sum of sets now let's sort it by the month name. you can see that it is sorted by the month name so it is taking s o n m and going to the a so it is like z to a you can change this order if you go it has no descending you can make it ascend so for that april will come first but as i told you that this is not the correct way to see the data this is how you should always show your uh, month wise quarter wise or day wise data okay for year and a day it may not be a problem as it can take ascending or descending as there are number field but for month you can you have to choose the date hierarchy field okay so this was the line chart and this was the understanding about uh how you can use a month name and how can you use physical field as a month name and date hierarchical field as a month name just keep in mind okay now we will understand about the next graph i will just open the visualization pane okay now you can see this line chart we saw there are again different line charts but in the form of stack in the form of area in the form of line and stack column chart now let's understand about this chart which is line and stack column charts so i will take this chart i will just resize it so what i will do i told you that whenever we are using a line chart it is for the trending purpose and we say see the trend in the form of month or quarter so for this i will take a quarter field and drop it to the x axis then i will take a profit is the profit let's try drag it to the column y axis and if you scroll down you can see there is a column of a y axis and you can also show the line of y axis okay so now i will take a sales value in the line y axis so you see i get the trend line of a sales so it is showing us that whenever your sales in the quarter four are maximum so that the profit is also maximum so this is how you can see by using a column stacked column chart now i can also take maybe let's just take a discount there is a discount okay discount in the field discount in the column y so now i will i will get the bifurcation of a discount and a profit and also the trend line for it okay i will just format it again go to the remaining bar chart here you have already formatted you can also take a formatting from the different page so do keep in mind that go to the page 1 and i will just format it okay now you have got the lab labels also okay now Uh, let me just rename this line and column charts okay okay now i can see that the data labels are on so i don't need these uh, values which are uh, which are like the axis values the 50 million 40 million so just keep in mind uh, we will we will do this in the next part but just do keep in mind whenever you are turning on the data label you don't need the axis value because it shows a, it doesn't show properly uh, what i mean is that uh, there is too much information on a chart 
like too much numbers so a visually it doesn't look very good so that's why you should avoid using a, a values of x axis whenever you are turning on the labels okay now i can see the next visual is that is this is the line chart and the clustered column chart so what it will do is that it can compare the data side by side so i will just copy paste this visual and let's do it as a clustered column chart so what it can do it can just uh, instead of showing one above other it will be doing the comparison that this was the profit this was the discount this was the profit this was the discount so this is the difference okay now uh, let's just format it with l i will show it like that maybe here okay now i will take our last chart which is the ribbon chart of about this section so let's take a ribbon chart i'll take again take a quarter <coughs> in the x axis then i will take uh, sales there is the sales sales into the y axis and i will take a discount band maybe okay okay discount band in the ledger so you can see that as soon as i drop a discount band into the ledger the it has taken one ribbon per discount band so high discount band is blue low is in the uh, deep blue orange is the medium and purple color it is showing for the none okay now let's again format paint it let's see okay now i have got the data labels on now this ribbon chart is basically the combination of your stacked bar chart stack column chart line chart everything what you have done he till here this is the combination of this chart so this chart basically provides a very good information if i hover over this 7 million i will see that quarter 3 discount band is high and what are the sales if i go to the side of this here you can see it is showing the ranking also that in quarter 2 high rank which is the 2 and in the quarter 4 it is also as a same rank so some of sales change it is also showing how your sales has been changed now if you go back here also it will show the information that in quarter 2 it was 64 in quarter 3 it was 67 so you increased your sales by 4.53% so this chart is really good which provides a lot of information and you can use it in your dashboard so this was about the ribbon chart and how you can use it so we understood about the bar chart remaining uh, other bar chart which was stuck stacked column stacked bar then we also understood about the line chart and when to use it we also understood about the physical field and the uh, actual date hierarchical month name how you can use and what should be uh, use what should we prefer in the real time and then we also understood about the ribbon chart which is combination of all these chart okay now there is one more thing to discuss let's take a stack bar chart again uh, instead of this what i can do is that i will go to this bar chart i can just copy this visual so i am doing this because uh i want to i want to tell you that this will help you in real time to save a lot of time so but as a beginner you are trying to understand all those things the suggestion is that you always try to do any graph uh, from the scratch don't just copy paste but i am just giving you the suggestion when uh, in the real time how you can save your time so i will name it as a small multiples so what is small multiple and now we will understand okay now we are we are showing here is that some of profit and discount now if you scroll down there is a one more field called a small multiples so what does the small multiples do is that let's just understand by doing it what i will do now is that i will take a segment and i will drop it into the small multiples field now you can see that as soon as i drop the segment in the small multiples field 
all the segments my bar chart has been bifurcated as per all the segments like there are five segments so my bar chart a cluster uh, stacked bar chart has been divided into the five sections so instead of segments let's try to take another field which is uh, maybe a country okay so you can see that it has now bifurcated my data into the country so for canada country different kinds of product and bifurcation how much was the profit and how much was the discount so this small multiples will be very useful if you want to show multiple data then in the single chart now what i want here is to do that uh, you can see that uh, let's just say go to the formatting option and if i go here you can see the y axis is turned on let's just see if there is another option here no let's go to x axis okay now in the x axis you can see there are one option shared x axis is on so shared x axis is nothing but you can see these products on the x axis so these are same like there is a single x axis so it is sharing that all the charts are sharing this x axis i don't want it to share so i can turn it off so what now now what will i get i will get all the x axis will have their separate separate uh, x axis all the charts will have their separate x axis okay now what i want that you can see that every every chart has the 2 millions maximum but i want it to format as per its visual so as per its value now you can see in this product like germany there are sales maximum sales uh, maximum value is a uh, little bit about above the uh, 1 million so what i want is that uh my axis should be in the format of or maybe around 1.5 to 1 million so for that i what i can do is that i can click on this scale to fit now you can see every chart has been formatted as per the data so in here we had 1 million so it is formatted as per that in here we had 1.5 million here we had 1 million again so it will be formatting as per that there is one more option called invert range if you click it on it is inverting the range so this option will be used whenever there is a negative value in your data let's say there are positive values continuously but there is a one negative value so in that case you want to also see the negative data so you can use the invert range option okay so this is how you can use this small multiples to your benefit let's just see if there are any other options in here what i want to understand ah yes okay now in the small multiples if you can see there are now my five products or oh, sorry uh, five countries are 1 2 3 4 and 5 now I, if i want to see three countries and then two countries i can do that if i want to see single country uh, at a time then i can do that so if i go and if i change it to one now my row there will always be one row visible and the second row will be the down okay so if i take one row here and one column here so at a time only one country will be visible and you can change the uh, you can scroll down and see the other countries now if i do this three so you can see three countries at a time and you can see this if i do this also as a three let's see so it shows like this but it is not suggested to do this as you should choose according to your data how much you are data showing if you are seeing three fields then you can choose two lines uh, sorry two rows and two columns according to that so it depends on your data and how many dimensions are there so i will just make it two so i can see in the single visual okay so this is how you can use a small multiples uh, and how you can change the axis formation okay in this session we understood about the bar chart what is the bar chart st stacked and the column chart what is the clustered bar chart and clustered column chart how it can be used when to compare the data how you can use 100% stack chart then we also understood about the line chart which i already told you we also understood about the line and column chart 
and in this session uh, in this section the last chart of the bar and the column mixture is called as a ribbon chart so this is the combination and it is very much informative chart you should use it uh, as per my suggestion uh, that this chart will will look a good in your dashboard and also provides a good information and at the end we also look after the small multiples option how you can use that to your benefit and how you can format it as per your requirement so this was all for this video thank you so much